to the channel. Today we have a decorate with me in the living room and I'm going to start off here on my living room credenza. I've already placed out this lovely, well it's a tablecloth that I folded in half and created a little table runner and I've also placed out this big guy here, um, filled it up with a lot of eucalyptus and uh, yeah I collected them from Dollarama this year and last year. So anyways, if you want to see this decorate, please continue watching. And if you're new, my name is Marie, and welcome to my channel, Paris of the Prairies. And here are the pieces that I want to use on my credenza. I've got uh, this beautiful pick that I got at Michael's. I got uh, at least four of them this year. I'm going to use in another little area in the living room. And these beautiful candles I most recently purchased as well at Michael's. They were only, I think they were $12.99 each. And they're quite a large candle, so I thought may as well. And these are other items that I've had in the past. Everything here is just uh, kind of what I thought maybe I'll use. I'm not sure. For instance, it's either going to be the turkey or the owl that I place out on the credenza. I'm not sure. I just have to see. And yeah, so let's get decorating. So now I'm going to start here on this side of my credenza and I'm just going to place in behind the vase a little bit this little picture that I found at Value Village. It gives off the fall vibes with the orange and the yellow and I'm going to just put in a few more picks inside the vase. They are pine picks with little pine cones on them and I just thought that might add in I don't know, just a little bit more detail in there amongst the little lights that I have because they're kind of like twig lights, twigs, you know. Anyways, oh, I'm going to add in my turkey. And, uh, well, you know, Thanksgiving is soon here in Canada, so it's either going to be my turkey or I might try my owl. My owl. <laughs> Not sure yet. Um, get a little undecided here about those two items. And now I'm just going to add in this beautiful glass pumpkin in an amber tone. Kind of goes well with the uh, kind of the amber tone of the picture. And I think I like it. And um, just adding in another autumnal little plate there that is in the shape of an oak leaf. And uh, I kind of thought maybe my picture needed a little more height. So I'm just going to add in a little picture frame and uh, see how that looks. And I do like the turkey, um, but then I thought, let me try the green owl. I think that it might be a little bit better just because of the green uh, in the eucalyptus leaves at the top. And I just kind of think that might give a, a little more, um, I guess, that color that I'm looking for down here. And on this side, I'm just going to add in this large lantern. And I'm going to uh, add in a candle, of course. And I'm going to just, I think, jazz it up by throwing in a fall time pick that is in a burgundy tone, which will go nice with the burgundy eucalyptus on the other side. And I'm also going to add in a eucalyptus garland and kind of intertwine it around the candle and up 
kind of on the top of the lantern and just jazz it up and make it look pretty and yeah that garland was from amazon and uh i would highly recommend it it's a nice garland actually and just one second i just need to grab something to give a little height to my candle there and uh just make sure it doesn't get, you know, drowned by that uh, floral. <laughs> Anyways, just going to tuck in the eucalyptus vine. And then I'm just going to somehow get it towards the top of the uh, lantern. And kind of just make it work. Now I'm going to throw in these sweet little birds. And they have little acorns on the side of them. And just going to tuck them in here. And I think I'm also going to add in that other candle from Michael's. And then I think this little area will be done. And I'm just going to tuck in this pretty little feathery pick. I'm just going to tuck it in here at the top and call it quits. So beautiful. And now for just a few more little details and then I'll be done. <laughs> Here on either side of my couch on the dressers, I'm going to add in a table runner and uh, yeah, I just think it's going to add in just that little bit of fall. Going to keep it simple just with a lamp and that's it. And over here on this large wall, I am going to place this beautiful picture that I got at the ReStore. It is a beautiful painting and it's just giving me the fall vibes. And uh, normally the TV credenza, the big unit, sits here. But I moved some furniture around and just had placed the couch. And yeah, we just need to make a little focal point here.
And there we go. Symmetry at your best. <laughs> So on this side, on the couch, I'm going to toss in the green. Green is uh, kind of maybe my color here as well, just like the green owl. So uh, yeah, we're just going to make it flow kind of all over the place here. <laughs> And now for my new wreath that I found at the Salvation Army. And it was only $9.99 and I was so happy. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, where is she going to place that? Well, I'm just going to make a huge focal point here on my living room coffee table. I'm going to place in my large size pumpkin and around the pumpkin, I'm placing my wreath and that's it simple it is beautiful And here I kind of remembered I had a green tablecloth and I thought let's just give this a little try and see what it looks like. Well, standing back and looking at it, it's okay, but I think I'm going to go with the gold tablecloth. It just seems to go, I don't know, a lot better. So yeah. I'm going to switch it back to gold. And over here at the window, as you can see, I already created a little garland and filled it up with different florals. And um, I just wanted to also add in the burlap. And when I did try, uh, it started to hide a lot of the pretty flowers and I didn't really want to do that. So I just created a bow and tucked it in underneath. And here I already put together a little tiered tray and just added in, you see there, an owl, a few acorns, pumpkins, and some picks. And that's it. Just wanted to use my tiered tray here as a focal point. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. And of course, I have my little turkey in there all ready for Thanksgiving. But before I leave this little area, I just had to try out my turkeys on either side of my tiered tray and see what that looks like. And then 
I also thought I have these uh, interesting pieces here. I'm not even sure what those are, some sort of finial, or at least in my mind, it kind of looks like a large acorn. So I'm gonna give it a try on either side and make my decision. Here is look number one, and now we gotta test out the turkeys and see what they look like. And here is look number two. Which do you think I like? I've already chose. If you guess the turkeys, you'd be right. I just think they're just uh, more appropriate for this time of the season. And um, they're so cute. I love them on either side of the tiered tray. And now, let's take a look around and see what we accomplished today. I hope you enjoyed being here today. I've enjoyed having you. And this will now conclude all my fall decorating for this season. And um, yeah, if you wanna see a home tour, please come back, cause that video will come out soon. Anyways, have a great weekend and take care. God bless and yeah, see you again. Before I leave, I just want to say, if you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing and please give this video a thumbs up. Anyways, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.